The Natural History Museum's Butterfly Conservatory in New York offers a chance to get up close and personal with some of Mother Nature's most popular insects. This one on the back. From the blue morpho to the monarch, this annual exhibit has been wowing visitors for 20 years. What's it like to have one land on you? Oh, it's amazing, like this right now. Wow. Gorgeous. They really like you. I just think they're plain beautiful. Powerful lamps simulate the sunlight that streams through a rainforest canopy. At 27 degrees Celsius and 75% humidity, the environment is definitely tropical in here. On any given day, you'll find up to 500 butterflies in the conservatory, and as many as 100 different species from as far away as Australia and Africa. Because the average lifespan of a butterfly is just two to three weeks, they're shipped to the museum in the pupae stage, emerging from the chrysalis after they arrive. It's a chance to educate the public about the threats they and all insects face from the loss of their natural habitats to pesticides. People will only um, conserve and protect things that they love and that they, that they know something about. And a lot of people see insects and bugs as being icky. It gives us a chance to tell people things that apply to insects in general, particularly about conservation and about uh, the role of insects in the environment and how beneficial they are to us and how we need insects. Because not only are butterflies beautiful, but also a harbinger of environmental changes to come. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.